This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God read by Tarana Singh In today's episode we continue unlearning the world with book 2 In chapter 3 this is section 3 Preferences as ordering of thought Friend Is it a judgment a preference that i like to play tennis rather than golf david yes it is it is back on the surface like choosing between a blue sweater and a green sweater the likes and dislikes are at the surface anything that is an ordering of thought even preferences is a judgment and the only way you can tell this is by your feeling let me give you an example say you go to a familiar restaurant where you wish to have a favorite dish you always get you go in almost salivating while you wait for the waitress to come only this time when you tell the waitress i will take the usual she apologizes and tells you they are out of that dish and you have a little twinge of disappointment i use that example because it sure seems like a common experience I am just upset because they do not have my favorite dish. Remember that if you run everything through the course's teaching, the upset is not there because they do not have your favorite dish. The upset is coming up because in your mind you have chosen the ego or you have let an expectation take the place of peace of mind. It seems pretty minor but there are no small upsets either you are feeling a deep sense of peace or you are not you are not feeling peace when there is minor irritation or rage to use an example from the other extreme it is all upsetting The way the course is laid out you can tell that it takes a while for the mind to get this Jesus teaches over and over that there are not any differences between upsets they all relate back to judgment or expectation there would have to be a judgment or an expectation I really am expecting to have that blueberry pie. The upset is coming from my interpretation of what is going on. Friend, you are trading your peace in for that. I think any time there is a charge of any kind related to something that I want, it indicates that I have a preference. and that is the extent to which i will put that between me and my peace of mind that is not to say that you are not to play tennis or you are not to play golf if your intention is to stay at peace if something comes up and intervenes david you could still stay at peace the course has us ask the question What is it for? Jesus is having us train our minds to think of everything as holy encounters. I remember the old win at all costs competitiveness in tennis. But this is about giving a new purpose to the world. Going to that tennis or golf match or going shopping or to the laundry. 
give it all a different purpose. Let the Holy Spirit's purpose be the purpose that is held in mind, out front. When I travel the country holding the intention for everything to be a holy encounter, it is such a joy. When you look at it that way, everything lights up. You end up getting into conversations at supermarkets, rest stops, course gatherings, everywhere. There is a different purpose that has been placed as a priority in the mind, even though you are still doing things. I have used tennis examples often, so sometimes people come up to me in my travels and say, I have a racket, let's go play. And away we go. And while we hit the tennis ball, we are discussing things. It gets away from competition. That is another thing I have noticed as I have gone deeper into this. The desire to win is just the ego. It is my own self-concept trying to put myself higher up in my mind. As you are able to see that, you gradually lose interest in those kinds of things. It is not like you make it bad or you just lose interest. They become the backdrop. Birthday parties, celebrations, fireworks, whatever. I just look at everything as a backdrop for seeing the Holy Spirit's purpose. That takes it away from being about the form. Oftentimes, people on the spiritual path will think that they have to start giving things up. And it feels like a sacrifice. But that is basically level confusion. The mind is so conditioned to think in terms of form that when it starts to read this or that about worldly or materialistic ways, ideas of sacrifice come in, ideas of giving things up. Yes, you have to give up the ego thinking. If you give up ego thinking, you will give up ego perceptions and ego interpretations and the behavior will follow automatically. The focus does not belong on the behaviors. When the perceptions change the form, follows. It is about looking at perception. It is good news.